to the channel i'm starting a new week in my life video i'm so excited because i have not done just like a solid week in my life video in such a long time so i'm so excited to do one today it is about 11 o'clock right now it's monday so far i woke up early this morning got a workout in and i also filmed a video so i filmed a sit down video that i'm actually going to get ready to edit here soon and post i'm trying to just be a lot more on top of my video schedule and trying to kind of get some more content out there because the past month has just been like a holiday season for me and I just want to get back on kind of like the work grind of everything but I'm so excited I don't know if you can tell but I got a new camera I talked about this on my Instagram I mentioned it there but I got the EOS M50 it's supposed to be like a better vlogging camera and I also got a wider lens for it so it's supposed to be better for vlogging because you can really like capture all of the surroundings and I also got a mic for it but my mic comes in on Thursday so I'm just using like my huge road one that I have for my DSLR right now which is not practical for going out and about and this camera is a lot bigger than my G7X which is what I had before so I'm still getting used to it I'm still getting used to the settings but I hope it's better for you guys I just wanted to really invest in something that was better quality I've had that camera since high school that I had before so it was definitely time for an upgrade I kept putting it off but I went to film a sit down video with like my big DSLR camera and it died on me so so I only have my little G7X, which just isn't as good for like doing sit down videos or whatever. So I wanted to upgrade and this camera is a lot nicer. So I'm actually gonna send in my bigger camera as well to get fixed. It actually is a recall on it. I looked up the error that it was having and apparently if you have like a certain serial number, it's a recall and mine was. So I just wasn't sure when that was gonna be able to come back. So I wanted to go ahead and get this one and I'll have it linked down below if you are interested in like cameras or vlogging or whatever it's a pretty simple camera to get used to but it's very powerful for such a little camera and the flip out screen is to the side so i'm just really excited to shoot on this but it's funny because in our apartment even though we have these big windows we don't get a lot of light because we're facing trees and there's a big building so we only get direct sunlight from about 11 to maybe 12 30 and so i always wait to do my videos then that's when i'm filming this clip which is why it's nice and bright but it's like my favorite time of the day in our apartment so i put on fake eyelashes today as you can tell and i just did not do a great job especially right here it's really bothering me but i'm not going to take them off i have also been having an issue of waking up in the night i struggle with insomnia it's something that i talk about quite a bit on here and lately i have been waking up in the middle of the night and then not going into like a deep sleep for the rest of the night and that is why i look a little bit sleepy i got some like dark under eyes but it's all good we're still gonna have a great day i also posted a podcast that was all about my goals going into the new year so I'm really excited to just see the feedback on that it's definitely like a very motivating podcast and if you haven't listened to my podcast I'll have it down below it's called but what's next it's my little baby I love the podcast and so you should definitely subscribe to that if you're interested I don't really know what the week holds honestly it's probably just going to be a lot of work stuff I'm trying to just pump out more content and I'm trying to shoot with my friend Rose that you guys know she is actually a photography major at the new school and so she's really skilled at photography but I was trying to find someone to take kind of rebranding photos for me and I found this studio that I am trying to rent for a couple of hours to do some photos there and I'm pretty sure she's gonna help me so we're trying to see if we can do it this week I don't know if she can but if she will that'll be in this vlog too and it's also just good getting to do it with someone I feel comfortable with so I'm excited about that I'm gonna go ahead and get some more shots for this video but I'm really excited and just wanted to say hey whenever I wear this cardigan I often get questions so it's from Urban Outfitters, but I got it a while ago. So I don't think they have it anymore, but it's really comfy. It's like a blanket. So I also wanted to put this out here because I was working out today, but I wasn't talking. I recently got these Align Tops from Lululemon.
in. They're like really comfortable kind of cropped workout tops, but they hit right at the top of your leggings, which I really like. They were so comfortable. I have like a purplish one and then also a black one and I love them. I'm obsessed with them. So I'll have a link down below. I feel like I might get questions. So I'm just going to link them, but someone also said there's an Amazon dupe. So I'll also link that, but I can't really say if it's a good dupe, but it is a lot more affordable. So I'll also link that, but I really like the Lululemon ones. I'm not going to get the dupe just because I already have two. I don't need more, but they're so comfy. So I've been loving those. So I'm now just doing some editing. I'm actually going to edit this video and upload it. I usually don't do that all in one day, but I am behind. So, And this is probably going to take me three more hours, I would say, to do everything, to do the thumbnail. And so I had other things on my to-do list. I wanted to do a lot of like tax things and which is fine. I think I'm just going to let this be my project for today and if i get this done that is okay because i also want to go for like a walk or something later because it's two o'clock and i have not left the apartment and anytime that happens to me i just go stir crazy so it is 5 30 i just finished everything and now i'm just chilling on the couch eden just went to the gym and then afterwards we are going to go to torchy's tacos which is my favorite place to go to i think i'm going to pull off these eyelashes because they literally feel like caterpillars right now i have just been sitting here actually going through and finding some inspiration for when i shoot with rose i have this dress that I got it's like a long white dress I'm gonna wear it with my black cowboy boots and I might wear a hat as well but I really like these I just want something that's really clean and simple and I might integrate like the baby's breath so this is like the outfit inspiration I just want really clean really bright very simple <laughs> It is the next day. It's Tuesday today. I just woke up this morning, had my quiet time, read Galatians, which was really good. And then I went ahead and posted a video and was responding to comments for about an hour. And then I went and did a workout. I did a really good strength workout slash like hit kind of. It was like a cardio strength workout. And now I'm about to get ready. My eyes are extremely swollen today. I honestly think that my eyes are having an allergic reaction because this keeps happening. It's like red and really puffy under my eyes. And I don't think it's sleep because I slept better last night. And for some reason, they're just like really swollen. But I'm about to take a shower and I think I'm going to go ahead and do some self tanning. That always makes me feel a little bit better. It's probably the worst thing to do when you're having an allergic reaction. But I'm going to do some face self tanner. So I'll show you guys how I do that. Wash my hair, do like a full shower. I have to like shave, you know, when you have to do like the whole shower, the really long one. That's me today. So I'm gonna do that. And then for the rest of the day, I need to pop by Trader Joe's and get some stuff, not like a full stock up, but we just need dinner stuff. So I'm gonna do that. Then I also wanna mail off our thank yous from Christmas. That's something that I keep like putting off doing, but it's obviously very important. So we're gonna do that. And then I have a lot of work stuff for the rest of the day, plan out some podcast stuff. I'm trying to find new guests for the new year. So if there's anyone you'd like to see on the podcast, feel free to let me know down below. I'm trying to think of new people to bring on new topics to talk about. So I just wanna do some research on that and then I have just other like random computer stuff to do. Not really fun stuff to vlog, but I'll take you guys with me to Trader Joe's. I wanted to share what I use for self tanning. For my body, I have always used the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Dark. This has always been the best for me. I really like it. I think it has a nice tone to it. So I'll have this link down below. And then for my face, sometimes this breaks me out. So this isn't like a total recommendation, but I use the Isle of Paradise dark self tanning drops. I literally just use like half a drop because it's very potent. And you have to make sure you wash your hands after, but I just mix it in with my moisturizer and put it on my face. And I like this sometimes, but sometimes it does break me out. So just be warned. I'll have it linked down below. I'm so excited because today it is actually 60 degrees and it's sunny. So I'm wearing my favorite little squirt. This is from Lululemon. It's like one of my favorite little athleisure pieces to wear. I just think it's so cute. I'm wearing it with my little Rothy's and then this is just my Kristen made sweatshirt that I wear all the time. It's a different kind of lonely. 
It's a different kind of sad Cause we got no more if only And we start to feel them bad So we're moving on I just spent the rest of the afternoon doing a lot of computer stuff. I'm really excited because I finally got my new license in the mail. I've been doing all my name changes and it is such a process changing your name, especially right now when you can't really do it in person. So I was waiting for that appointment. I had my DMV appointment. I finally got my card, which is exciting because now I'm doing my passport. That's the next thing that I'm gonna switch. And it's just nice slowly checking it off and actually feeling like my name, like my new name is on things. It's really nice. And then I also was just mapping out a podcast because I am doing a podcast all about negativity and kind of dealing with negativity in terms of like negative thoughts, negative relationships, getting out of negative head spaces. And so I'm really excited to do that. But I was doing a lot of research on like why we're so inclined to be negative, which is really interesting. But that took a couple of hours. And now I'm sitting here watching the bachelor which i usually don't actually watch but i used to watch it every now and then with my sisters and i just think it's a good show to kind of like watch to pass the time so i've been watching this is it the best thing to be watching probably not but it's entertaining so i've just been watching that tonight i'm about to make some dinner i'm making this one skillet enchilada recipe it's by far my favorite recipe i make it all the time it's from half baked harvest i'll have it linked down below it's so yummy so i'm about to go ahead and do that here soon and have a chill rest of the evening today was kind of a chill day i think tomorrow we'll have a lot more going on but it's just been pretty slow and steady today it was all going well until we love to see it we love to see it Just hopped out of the shower, rinsed off my self-tanner. So this is like the color that you actually get after I went in the show. I think it's really nice. I'm about to do some skincare. I feel like my skin looks pale because I just like washed off all the self-tanner on my face. I like to use this stuff every now and then. It's like a deep sleep night oil. It's basically just like a lavender kind of oil that you put on your body. It has like essential oils in it and chamomile. It's just like one of those nice things to do that's like a little bit extra, but I definitely like the scent of it and I think it calms me down and I'm feeling like like a little wired tonight for some reason like my brain won't shut off so i'm gonna use this and do my skincare as you can tell my eyes are still a little bit red and crusty but it is what it is this morning i just went and grabbed us some coffee aiden's currently in the shower so you can probably hear that just got us some cold brews and now it is actually about nine o'clock this morning and i i literally just woke up which is why i look very like fresh faced right now but i'm actually going to record my podcast this morning i usually don't record in the morning but i kind of just want to get that done for the day the shoot tomorrow i have one outfit done but i just wanted to grab like a shirt or something or something different that i haven't worn before so i'm going to go to the mall and grab that today there's a couple of other things i need to grab for it as well just like some flowers i want to use and that is kind of it for today it's wednesday today i feel like today's the day that i usually get the most like groggy on throughout the week and so i'm trying just to be productive today get as much done as possible so tomorrow we can just have fun and i also want to hang out with rose after we do our shoot so i want to make sure i get a lot done today just got back from a little booty workout that i did i just did about 15 minutes on the stairmaster and i find for doing the stairmaster workout it's such a better workout if you don't grab the railings because you actually are like using your butt muscles to like go and do the stairs and so i did that and then i did a 12 3 30 workout but i just did it for 20 minutes so i walked at a 12 incline for 20 minutes at three miles per hour which felt good and then i just did a little booty band workout with my resistance band that's one of my favorite like booty workouts to do and it felt really good but now i'm about to take my shower get ready and then i have a call at two with a brand which i'm really excited about i'm also excited this is kind of a nerdy thing but i got my little supplement pill case because we have been taking supplements like magnesium zinc fish oil things that are just like good for your heart and everything and so i wanted to go ahead and put together like a little kit because i've just been like popping them out of the bottles and i feel like this will be a lot more convenient so i'm gonna put them all in this to 
them all. I wanted to show you guys something that I got from a friend. So her name is Mikkel Jancy. She is a YouTuber. I love her content. I actually found her content while we were planning our wedding because she has a lot of wedding videos on her channel. And my mom and I actually found her channel. It's funny because my mom always wanted to name me Mikkel. It's actually a name from the Bible. It has like a very like biblical meaning to it. And so my mom, whenever we found her channel, she's like, oh my gosh, I've never actually seen someone with this name, but she's so sweet. And she sent me some of her merch. I'll take off my sweater. And it's literally the most comfortable merch. It is hands down the best merch I've gotten from someone like the best material. It's this little shirt. It says sweet as honey. It's so cute. Got a large, but I think it's so cute and I love it. So I'm just wearing this, but I'll have it linked down below if you want to check out her merch. You should also check out her channel. I think she's just a really sweet, positive light on YouTube. And I really like her content. So I'm wearing this. I'm about to head into the mall. I like coming at this time because it's not as crowded. I think I'm just going to go to Zara. I'm pretty sure because I can usually find something like cute and my style at Zara or Madewell I might go to as well. And then I also wanted to see if I could go to a store in here that would have floating shelves, but I don't think they would have a store in the mall. So I might go somewhere after like Bath and Body, not Bath and Body Works, but Bath and Beyond, I feel like, or maybe World Market would have some. I'm just gonna look around and see if I can find some of those. Cause that's another thing I need to finish the apartment. Not need, but want for the apartment, so. Just got back. I actually found some pretty good things and it really wasn't crowded. I love going like midday cause there's no one there. But I picked up a few things. I'm probably gonna get rid of some clothes because now I really do try to kind of put stuff in a donate pile whenever I accumulate new stuff. Cause our closet is getting a little bit crowded, but I really love the things I got, especially this. This is a big one. I really like this. I found this little jumpsuit from Madewell. It is so comfy. I can tell I'm gonna wear this in the shoot that I'm doing, but I'm also gonna wear it after because it's so comfy. I tried it on, so I'll show you guys what it looks like. But it's like this really soft material and it's this new line. I don't know if it's new, but it's make weekends longer. It's like the line at Madewell. So comfy. I love jumpsuits, so I can't wait to wear this. I also picked up this top from Free People, which is really cute. I think I'm just gonna wear this with some jeans. It's like a little mesh top fabric halfway through. So like, oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> this is what it looks like. Kind of hard to show, but it was really cute. I think it'll be nice and simple to wear with some jeans. I also got, I'll have all these things linked below too, because they're obviously current things, so they're still there. But I got one of these layered necklaces. I've been wanting a layered necklace because I have my little pearl one I wear all the time, but I wanted to get like a really pretty layered coin necklace. So I found this from Madewell. I think it's gonna be really cute for every day. I love like gold. Ooh, hello sun. <laughs> Gold everyday jewelry. And then the last thing I got, I ran out of my blush. And so I got this just from Sephora collection. It's like the cheapest line at Sephora. And so I just got a little matte blush and it's really sunny. So we're gonna go ahead and head home. pictures of me. I'm the cute one. I'm the cute one. So it is Thursday today and Rose and I just finished doing a little, little shoot here at the Lumen Room. I think I'm saying that right in Dallas, but it's a little studio space. So we just finished and now we're about to head out and Rose brought Frankie with her too. So you've been having a good time. <laughs> Little pranks. My child. <laughs> but yeah, it was really good. This is a really nice space if you guys need to shoot anything in Dallas. Yeah. Rose like, is the professional because she does this regularly. I do. So. But it's like a cloudy day and the light's still good. So yeah. we just like use the mirrors a little bit. But we were all good. It was all good. <laughs> so we got some new photos. And we're about to head out. Say peace out. <laughs> Peace out. It is a little bit later today. I actually just got my new mic in the mail, so I wanted to test it out and do this clip. I hope it sounds good. It's also really tiny, which is nice. I don't have that huge one on here anymore, but it was so nice seeing Rose. I obviously, you guys watch my vlogs, I don't see that many friends definitely as much as i used to and so that's been one of the biggest things about moving to dallas i just miss having all my friends and rose is home until like february she came home for christmas and it's just been home ever since it's pretty much gonna stay here and i put this in a text but this is a burn i burned my hand on or my arm on a pan so 
that is just there. We are actually gonna order some pizza tonight because it is just one of those nights where I really want some e fratelli pizza. So we're gonna order pizza and watch, I think like a rom-com and just have a little cute date night at home. I wanted to show you guys, one of the things that I have been so bad about lately is reading. I have been so obsessed with my phone and so glued to my phone. And I can just say, I'm a much happier person when I'm not just aimlessly scrolling all the time. And it's like something I know in my heart, but I always see my screen time go up throughout the weeks. And it just makes me sad that I don't like pick up a book. And so I saw my friend Allison recommended this book and it made me want to pick it up. I'll have it linked down below. It's called Garden City. It's work, rest, and the art of being human. The back says, what does it mean to be human? We've all heard it said. It's who you are that matters, not what you do. Theologically rich yet down to earth and practical, Garden City speaks to all of us who are searching for our calling in life or just trying to find meaning in the everyday. In the end, this book is an invitation to ask the ancient primal human question, why am I here and what should I do about it? Obviously a big question and something that I just think will be a really good read. So I'm probably about to start this. I'm just gonna listen to some music on the couch and just think about in college, how much I use my brain to study and learn new things and just expand my mind. And I think I listen to a lot of podcasts, but it still doesn't feel the same as like picking up a book and reading. So I'm excited to read this. Here it goes. She cute. She really cute. We always get it extra crispy with extra sauce and light cheese. It's the best. Good morning, guys. It is Friday today. I just finished a workout, hence why I look like this. I just did a three mile run and then I did some abs, just like 10 minutes of abs. After my run, people came in, so I didn't record the rest of my workout or whatever, but my go-to breakfast lately has been my favorite Icelandic style yogurt. So this is from Trader Joe's. If you like the Siggy's yogurt, I think that this is really good. It's very similar. It's like a thicker kind of creamy yogurt. I'm just having that with granola and bananas. And I honestly thought that bananas and yogurt would be weird, but for some reason this tastes pretty good. Tonight we're gonna go over and see my family. Aiden actually had to go to the office today. So I'm here for most of the day alone. And I thought it might be nice to do another kind of closet clean out while I did this in November. November. It is really easy to accumulate stuff. Once he gets back, I might drop it off at a donation center or Plato's closet. I'm gonna see what I have and then see where I wanna take it. Anytime that our drawers start piling up or our closet starts getting filled, I do just like to go through because there are always things that I just don't wear anymore. And I have the personality type where it's pretty easy for me just to get rid of things, almost to a fault, because I'll get rid of things and be like, I wish I didn't get rid of that. But for the most part, I do like when I get rid of things. So I'm gonna go through and do that. Just finished getting ready. I'm just wearing the top that I got from Free People and then these like paper bag pants are from Zara. Wearing the Madewell necklace and then these earrings were actually a gift that my sister Jamie got that I wear so I don't know where they're from but they're like my favorite go-to little earrings. I wanted to show you guys I did this and it has really improved my organization. I went ahead and hung up these command hooks here in the bathroom and I just hang all my necklaces. These are Basically all the necklaces that I wear, they're just my everyday ones. I just go ahead and hang them up on these. And I like that they're hidden because they're just here under this drawer. I don't like having like my jewelry out or anything. So these are all the clothes that I am going to donate right here. And then I just have clothes here that I wanna wash for myself. They're just like my spring clothes. One tip that I have, especially if you're selling your clothes, you should still do this if you're donating, obviously, but especially if you're trying to sell them at like Plato's Closet, is just to make sure you wash everything and fold it nicely and just make it look like it's ready to be sold because they'll be more likely to actually purchase it. Obviously you should still do that if you're donating. I've just heard stories of people like giving bags of dirty clothes and that's just not nice for someone to have to go through. And especially if you're trying to sell them, just make them look nice. So I'm gonna put them all ready to go. I just had a very successful past hour and a half. I went and got my passport photo done at CVS mailed out my passport application because I'm trying to change my name on it. And I figure this is the time to do it because I'm not actually using it, but I want it to be ready for when I can use it. And so I went ahead and finished that. And then I just dropped off my donations. I also mailed all of our thank yous. There were just so many little things that I needed to get done. And I love just doing all those things that you keep putting off and feeling like they're all done. I'm gonna go ahead and head back now. Yeah. 